lost their young cousin to a road crash. I'm told there were a number of bystanders who just looked on. His life could have been saved had he received emergency medical care on time. This loss changed my life. Why would nobody come forward to help another human being? I discovered that it was not apathy that was driving that hesitation. It was a very profound fear of getting entangled in legal procedures, the awkward police questions, the detention at hospitals. My idea was essentially to fix that process. I'm Piyush Tiwari, and for the last 14 years, I've been working to save lives on roads in India by improving road safety and access to emergency medical care. When I founded Save Life in 2008, I got a number of assurances that India will get a good Samaritan law. But eventually, I was forced to appeal to the Supreme Court of India. The case went on for four years, and in 2016, I still remember standing in the Supreme Court and the judge reading out the judgment where he said this was a national emergency. And then they used their constitutional powers to institute a nationwide binding Good Samaritan law that would insulate people who come forward to help the injured from any kind of legal and procedural hassles. I, I also broke down uh, when I heard it because it was a long fight. Save Life Foundation uses physical evidence, data science, and artificial intelligence to reconstruct crashes. It is based on that data-driven evidence that we propose mitigation measures to allow policymakers and on-ground agencies to take action. Our training teams are training the police, community members, what to do when there's heavy bleeding, what to do if there's an internal injury. These are not technical skills. They don't require medical knowledge. And the Good Samaritan law now protects them from any kind of legal or procedural hassles when they use these skills to save someone's life. And my hope is that going into the future, everybody will have equitable right to use our roads without endangering their lives. Imagine saving all those many lives. Imagine saving just one.